what's up guys so today is going to be a quick re-review of beaver lacrosse mesh it, and first off is going to be the standard mesh which I already got a piece from the uh, guys over there at beaver lacrosse it's uh, Brendan I believe his name was uh, this is the standard mesh I strung it up in this STX bionic basically to just test it out and see if it was any better than the first piece that he sent me that had waxing problems and so far it's definitely a big jump in improvement I, like I said in the last video I think there was just something went wrong with the dip and so this one was by far a lot better um, I don't have any wax the wax issue isn't present at all uh, it is the raw mesh that he uses is uh, Jimalax or Jimalax uh, raw 15 mil so pretty much the same as Throne of Strings 15 millimeter one and it's a lot eh, I'd say it's a little bit stiffer than 15 mil East Coast mesh so uh, it's not really for face offs or anything like that it's just your standard wax mesh that feels like hard mesh and it just in general it, I, I'd still have to give it about an 8 maybe a 9 out of 10 but it feels real good when you throw with it and catching is pretty good cradle is pretty decent too there's no real difficulty to stretch to any of the holes to string it up uh, next is a 20 mil prototype that they're working on I strung it up in my old broken Evo TI, but uh, you can still I can still use it to test it and whatnot, so might as well do that. But this is the same formula that he used uh, that they use on the uh, standard, but this is I believe Stringer Shack raw mesh, and it is 20 mil, and so it strings up exactly like the uh, Gemma standard that he or they sent me before and so it, it's about the same hardness as 15 millimeter mesh and so it's not super difficult to string either uh, the stretch is really good cradle is nice uh, it holds its shape really well this this version of their mesh I'd have to definitely play around with a lot more but all in all I'd have to give it another 8 out of 8 or 9 out of 10 for performance wise but I, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time with that one to see how it goes and then next is their 15 millimeter prototype mesh uh, I believe they called it ultralight prototype but uh, he decided to send it color schemed and I believe it is either navy or black my lighting isn't really helping me out <laughs> with that decision but so it's a nice dark color Carolina blue to white and this is stringer shack raw mesh as well but it's 15 millimeters so it's a little bit uh, stiffer than a 20 mil but they use the right amount of formula for this one but still feels a little stiff and whenever you're trying to string it but it still stretches really well and as you can see in this Easton Stealth US it strings up pretty well most most mesh I try to put into this type of head doesn't work out too well but the uh, beaver lacrosse mesh definitely turned out pretty decent in this head so uh, this mesh I'd have this version of their formula in raw mesh I'd have to give 8 out of 9 also so overall all of beaver lacrosse mesh is going to be an 8 or 9 out of 10 but the, uh, the thing about their formula is like he's exper they're experimenting with different uh, raw meshes and so because of that they have to change up the amount of formula or whatever percentages they're using for the formula to make it the perfect mesh and I think I feel that they're really really close to making what they consider the perfect wax mesh and what a lot of people probably will consider really good but so far I don't I don't see too many issues with it just yet 
with the uh, Stringer Shack Raw. Um, the Jimma basically feels like any other Jimma waxed mesh. There, and none of these, all three of these meshes, there is no flaking. It's very easy to stretch, very easy to string, as long as you're good at stringing. If you don't really know how to string, it's going to be a little difficult for you. Just with it's the same same rules apply from any other mesh to this mesh. It might be a little difficult if you don't know what you're doing. So, uh, th thanks for watching, guys. I just wanted to put out some more positive, a little bit more positive information regarding Beaver Wax Mesh, especially since they had the uh, the nicety and whatnot to send me some more mesh to test out to prove that it was just a fluke with that piece of mesh, and I believe it was because all three of these pieces are very superb and so that was beaver beaver mesh from beaver lacrosse if you guys have any questions leave them I'm pretty sure that Brendan is gonna be looking into what I have to say and if you guys want to go ahead and order something from them I will try and look for the uh, the website to try and order something otherwise uh, just look it up and you should be able to order from him if you go if you're on Instagram he they have an Instagram it's just beaver beaver lacrosse or beaver wax mesh pretty sure it's beaver lacrosse and if you leave a message leave a comment on one of his pictures he'll be more than happy to contact you to do business with you so thanks for watching guys like comment subscribe and just keep waxing guys